Guys, in the nervous system, so far we have looked at the central nervous system pathology, correct? Now let us move on to the pathologies of the peripheral nervous system, okay? So peripheral nervous system, are you able to see? Here there are three main headings, pathologic reaction to injury, uh, following which there is degeneration, demyelination, then peripheral neuropathy and then we will look at tumors of uh, peripheral nervous system. Now in peripheral nervous system, if there is injury, okay, in brain there is regenerative capacity, but in peripheral nerves there is no regeneration capacity, okay. Now what will happen here, there will be degradation like valerian degeneration, axonal degeneration and segmental demyelination. Just look at the diagram here. So here they have explained, they have shown diagrammatically what happens. This is a normal nerve, peripheral nerve. This is going to show valerian degeneration. This is going to show axonal degeneration and this is going to show segmental demyelination. Now what is this valerian degeneration? Basically what happens here, there is accumulation of the organelles in the proximal and distant distal ends. Okay, so wherever there is a, a transection, so there is going to be accumulation of organelles in the proximal and distal ends of the transection. Then what happens? <clears throat> the axon and the myelin sheath distilled to the to the transection site undergo de disintegration up to the node of Ranvier. So here what is happening? There is degeneration occurring distal distal to the transection up to the next node of Ranvier followed by phagocytosis. Then there is phagocytosis. Okay. Then what happens? A regeneration occurs by sprouting of axons and proliferation of Schwann cells from the proximal end. From the proximal end itself, some regeneration should happen. Okay. Then coming to axonal degeneration, here what happens in axonal degeneration? <clears throat> the degeneration of the axon begins at the peripheral terminal and proceeds backwards. Okay, it proceeds backwards towards the nerve cell body. The cell body undergoes chromatolysis. You can see here chromatolysis is occurring. So this is Schwann cell proliferation. There is Schwann cell proliferation in the region of axonal degeneration. Wherever there is axonal degeneration, there is Schwann cell, cell, Schwann cell proliferation. The loss of axonal integrity occurs. Okay. And um, changes similar to Wallerian degeneration are present. But a regeneration reaction is limited or absent. Regeneration capacity is limited or absent in this case. Okay, so in this axonal degeneration, you should know chromatolysis occurs. Coming to segmental demyelination here, this is also similar to the demyelination in the brain. Okay, and uh, here what happens? There is loss of myelin of the segment. So there is loss of myelin, demyelinated segment is there here. So there is loss of myelin of the segment between two consecutive nodes of Ranvier leaving a denuded axon segment. The axon however is intact. Schwann cell proliferation generally accompanies demyelination. So Schwann cell proliferation accompanies demyelination. This results in uh, remyelination of the affected axon. So the there will be anyways remyelination. Okay. If there is repeated episode of demyelination and remyelination, that so there will be associated uh, concentric proliferation of Schwann cells around axons producing onion bulbs found in hypertrophy neuropathy. So Every time if the same thing keeps happening, demyelinate, remyelinate, demyelinate, remyelinate, then what will happen? There is concentric proliferation of Schwann cells leading to onion bulbs kind of an appearance. Okay. So I hope you understood something. There is something in peripheral neuropathy, sorry, in uh, peripheral nervous system. If there is a uh, injury, then there could be valerian degeneration, which can progress with some regeneration can happen here. Axonal degeneration in axonal uh, uh, degeneration, the axonal integrity is lost. Okay. <clears throat> then coming to segmental demyelination, here there is demyelination again, remyelination. Okay. So those are of very, very high level we have told you. Details you can read by yourself. Probably they will teach you in college.
So moving on, peripheral neuropathy. Peripheral neuropathy here, basically if there is disorders of the peripheral nerves because of any cause like polyneuropathy, mononeuropathy, multiplex, mononeuropathy, etc. Okay. So here what and all you should know, polyneuropathy, mononeuropathy, things like that. Okay. Here it could be due to thiamine deficiency, diabetes, diabetes you already know, no? peripheral neuropathy, amyloidosis, so amyloidosis also can cause uh, peripheral neuropathy, then autoimmune, for everything you can include one autoimmune cause, autoimmune demyelinating disease, D I S E A S E disease. Example is saying is Gullian Gullian Bar syndrome. Okay. Then look at nerve sheath tumors now. <coughs> nerve sheath tumors. In nerve sheath tumors, they have covered schwannoma, that is neurilemoma. We have seen the same term even in the central nervous system, correct? And then neurofibroma. If a person is suffering from von Reckling how sense neurofibromatis, then this can turn malignant. Okay. So that can be malignant peripheral nerve sheath tumor. So that's all in peripheral nervous system guys. Hope this video was useful for you. <clears throat> so we are signing off for peripheral nervous system. Meet you in the next video guys. Bye bye.